So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 18th Angular tutorial in which we are gonna finish off with our login application, a very basic one implemented using Angular and Angular routing and uh, would be implementing Angular service, right? So what, what, what I'm gonna do is hop over to my command line and I'm gonna say ng generate service uh, let's just name it user and hit enter so you can see that it generates a service but it wants me that the service is generated but it must be provided to be used right so that is okay so we can go to this user service now and pretty much see that it has called got a constructor for now and what we can do is we can go ahead and say that this is private is user logged in is equal to false or we can say private um, or let's just initialize these values in constructor uh, let's just say username for now so we're gonna say is user is uh, user logged in or rather this dot is user logged in is equal to false right so we can say um, this has a set user logged in and uh, return this dot or rather just set this dot is user logged into true and we can again set get user logged in and just return this dot is user logged in property right so we have got the service now what we want to do is uh, go to our app module and inside here inside providers I want to pass in this service as user user what we have user service right so we can pass in user service in here and we can import the service as well so import user service from user service right and now we take a look then we have our user service available with us inside our whole application so now what we can do is go to our login component and uh, we can say that inside constructor we get another dependency which is private private the user and we pass this as a user service so that angular knows and again we can just import user service from user dot service just like that and it's actually right there right okay so now we have our user service with us so what i'm gonna do is pretty much say um inside login user if username is this and this i'm gonna call user dot uh, set user logged in which is probably i think this dot user right was the property name so if we can just close all of this right so we can just open the service set user logged in is the name okay all right so i went over and created a service but don't worry about that we'll be learning about service in more detail later on but we just need a very simple service right now and what the service basically would do is pretty much it would maintain a state for a user so that we our application could know that the user is actually logged in and the service would be same inside all the components if we want to include so that we can just go ahead and include it in our dashboard component again so i'm just gonna go with this one and say private user and this is just a dependency injection to let um, angular know that uh, you have to insert this dependency right here right so the user service is correct name and we can just import user service from user dot service like that and then what we can say now what i'm gonna do next is actually create a guard 
So a guard, as the name suggests, actually guards your route against, you know, unauthorized access in our case. So what this guard would pretty much do is that uh, it would create, it would actually create a check before the route actually takes place, right? So if you have done Angular 1 somewhere, then you pretty much know that you used to have results there. You still, we still do have results here, but they are pretty much called as guards right now. So to generate a guard, what we're going to do is again go back to our terminal and inside here I'm going to write ng generate guard and let's just say auth guard, we name it. Right, so <clears throat> again I'm not going to go a lot into details into guards right now. We're going to cover that as a separate topic but since we need it for our login application so I'm just going to quickly go through over it. So if we take a look at what Angular has generated for us, is this auth guard file, right? So it automatically implements this can activate method, which is actually fired before a route transition takes place, right? So if can activate returns false for our route, then the route would be stopped. So that's pretty much what's left for us to implement and before implementing that what I want to do is actually finally go to our routes which is in our app module and right with the dashboard I want to say can activate is another property and I want to pass it with the auth guard is that what we have auth guard guard okay so I added this guard but anyways let's just go with that only now so this is auth guard guard and i can just import the same thing from auth guard guard like that and uh, we can just put a comma in there so now we are ready to rock and roll into our auth guard and uh, inside its definition what i'm gonna say is that uh, actually it implements a lot of stuff so that we can implement one more thing and that would be our private user which is user session one last time or is that what we named it user service right so we can now just import user service from user.service I guess that's what it was right so now what we can say or rather not this one not like that we have to do that inside our constructor constructor like that and now we can pretty much access return this dot user dot inside our user service we can say get user logged in right okay so now if we see our app we can pretty much try to go to dashboard and uh, you would see that uh, we get an error so we have to add this provider into provider as well and there we go so if we now try to go into dashboard you would see pretty much that we got nothing and instead we are not shown anything because uh, our route is actually cancelled right from the auth guard so when it returns false it pretty much cancels our route so if i try to reload the app and i do like admin admin and hit login you can see that we get you are authenticated go back and uh, if we try to pretty much reload this app and again go to dashboard you would see that it does not work it throws us back to the previous page because of this guard implemented so that is how pretty much we can create a very basic application a login application with angular and uh, yeah so that's all for this one and you would find all the code in the description and we're gonna implement or we're gonna discuss about services and guards later on in uh, depth in this angular series so don't worry about that if you do not even uh, you know if you have 
if you are like confused that what God is used for, what services are used for, then don't worry about that. We're gonna again take a deeper look into that later on in the service. So that's all for this one. And if you liked it, then please don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one.